Are you someone who uses a magnesium supplement? Well, if so, you better pay attention to this video as I'll outline the best forms of magnesium to be utilizing to improve overall health. Let's get into magnesium. What is magnesium and why is it crucial for optimal health? Magnesium is an abundant mineral in the body and found in many foods, supplements, and medicines. It is crucial for over 300 enzyme systems governing various body functions. It aids in protein synthesis, nerve and muscle function, blood sugar control, and blood pressure regulation. Additionally, magnesium is vital for energy production, bone structure, and the synthesis of DNA, RNA, and glutathione antioxidants. Furthermore, magnesium facilitates the transport of calcium and potassium ions across cell membranes, essential for nerve impulses, muscle contraction, and heart rhythm. Next up, we can see the commonly used forms of magnesium that are commonly found in various supplements on the market. So first up, we have magnesium citrate at dosages of 240 to 400 milligrams. For constipation relief, dosages of 240 milliliters of 1.745 grams is typical. For magnesium oxide, 200 to 400 milligrams is typical. However, this has very poor bioavailability. Next up, recommended dosages for magnesium glycinate is 200 to 400 milligrams. For magnesium sulfate, which is Epsom salt, one to two cups dissolved in the bath is common. Next up, magnesium l 3 8 is used in dosages of 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams. Magnesium malate is used in dosages of 200 to 400 milligrams. And magnesium taurate is 125 to 500 milligrams. And finally, magnesium aspartate is used in dosages of 200 to 400 milligrams. Moving on, we can see the common dosages that are used in various magnesium formulations. So for magnesium citrate, 240 milligrams to 400 milligrams. Constipation relief, typically 240 milliliters of 1.745 grams of magnesium citrate. Magnesium oxide, 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams. Magnesium glycinate, 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams. Magnesium chloride, 300 milligrams to 600 milligrams. Topical as needed for muscle relaxation. Magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt, bath dosage. One to two cups of Epsom salt dissolved in warm water. Magnesium L3 and 8, 1000 milligrams to 2000 milligrams. Magnesium malate, 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams. Magnesium taurate, 125 milligrams to 500 milligrams. Magnesium aspartate, 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams. Dosages highly depend on diet, exercise, age, and health conditions. Now let's take a look at the most bioavailable forms of magnesium ranked from top to bottom. So here from top to bottom, we have Magnesium bisglycinate, magnesium citrate, then magnesium malate, then magnesium taurate, then magnesium lactate, magnesium L3 and 8, magnesium chloride, magnesium carbonate, magnesium sulfate, and finally magnesium oxide. Now, it's important to note that absorption rates are approximate and can vary based on individual factors and specific formulations of supplements. Additionally, some forms of magnesium may have higher absorption rates when taken with food. Ultimately, the absorption and bioavailability of magnesium can vary depending on several factors, including the form of magnesium and individual differences in metabolism. Guys, listen up. I'm sure you're aware of the importance of personalization when it comes to optimizing your health. That is why I'm offering a free 15-minute Boost Your Biology Strategy session with a senior member of my team where we'll chart out a personalized plan for success so that you stop guessing when it comes to different supplements, diets, training, and lifestyle strategies. So be sure to check that link out in the video description down below. So let's take a look at this study. It was titled Bioavailability of Magnesium Food Supplements, a Systematic Review. The authors noted that there is a difference in bioavailability between the different magnesium presentation forms. The percentage of magnesium absorption decreases with increasing dose. Organic forms are better absorbed than inorganic forms. Magnesium taurate seems to be one of the most bioavailable magnesium salts. Supplementation with any form of magnesium appears to be useful in maintaining optimal magnesium levels. The tissue distribution of magnesium depends on the form of magnesium administered. Thus, magnesium acetyl taurate increases the concentration of magnesium in the brain more than other forms. Now let's move on to the worst forms of magnesium. 
Now, these forms are the worst because I personally have noticed with individuals who have used magnesium for months on end, when they do a blood test before and after, there is no increase in their blood levels of magnesium. In consideration of bioavailability, efficacy for specific health goals and potential side effects such as gastrointestinal discomfort, certain forms of magnesium are much less efficient with pertinent downsides for oral supplementation. First on this list is magnesium oxide. It has the lowest bioavailability estimated to be as low as 4%. Its poor absorption rate means that less magnesium is available for use by the body. It is often used in supplements due to its lower cost and for applications where high bioavailability is less critical, such as laxatives. Number two is magnesium sulfate, also known as Epsom salt. Magnesium sulfate is more commonly used for baths to help with muscle soreness and relaxation rather than as an oral supplement. Its bioavailability is low when taken orally and it can cause digestive upset and diarrhea if taken in high doses orally. Lastly, magnesium carbonate. This form has variable bioavailability, which can improve somewhat as it converts to magnesium chloride in the stomach acid. However, it's generally less bioavailable than other forms used for supplementation and is often used in antacids and as a food additive rather than as a primary source of dietary magnesium. So now you're probably wondering what time of day is best to utilize magnesium. Now, I personally use magnesium at the end of the day. I personally prefer to use it towards bedtime. And that is because magnesium can lower cortisol, it lowers stress, and I've seen an improvement in my HRV scores, as well as my deep sleep scores, according to my Aura Ring. The best time of day to take magnesium depends on the intended use, form of magnesium used, and general response and nutritional need. For sleep and relaxation, evening. Research shows significant improvements of sleep quality and metrics with nighttime supplementation of magnesium, particularly in the form of magnesium bisglycinate. For digestive issues with meals, if supplementation leads to GI distress such as nausea, vomiting, cramping, bloating, then taking it with food can remedy these negative side effects. For general mental and health, spread throughout day, Taking throughout the day will allow for reduced side effects and increase absorption as absorption decreases with dosage. Furthermore, it will maintain consistent levels in the body throughout the day without high dose effects, relaxation and drowsiness or laxative. Absorption considerations. Some studies suggest that magnesium may be better absorbed when taken away from high fiber meals or large doses of zinc supplements as these can interfere with magnesium absorption. However, some forms have increased bioavailability when alongside food. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you personally use magnesium, please leave a comment down below. Let's get a discussion going and share your favorite form. What form do you utilize and notice the best results with? Drop a comment down below.